Hey guys, I am down. Oh, I'm down. I need to sit up. You see, uh, John Banyan said, He who is low needs no fear to fall, and a man who is down will not fall from that place. And so, so how, you see, a man that is low can never fall from that place. You see, a man on his face can never fall from that place. In other words, when you go low, what you're doing, you're humbling yourself. But how do we do that? You know, it brings to mind the scripture from Psalms 35 verse 13. Let's see. So this is what David said in Psalms 35 verse 13, that I humbled my soul with fasting. It's interesting that David said the only way he could humble himself was through fasting. You see, what fasting does, it gives you an opportunity to get low and get down and reduce yourself and, and humble yourself because guess why? You never want God to humble you because that's not gonna be fun. You wanna humble yourself. In that humbling yourself is you come through fasting and you humble your soul. Now notice he says your soul because your spirit is already good. It is your soul that needs help because the soul part of me is the most arrogant, uh, most self-centered, most out of tune with God. And that's where all the work is and that's where all the trouble is. And, and I, if I want to change, it's my soul that needs to change because my spirit is secure with God, but my soul needs to change. And so it's through fasting that you can now deal with a soul and your soul is your mind, your will, your emotions. In other words, I feel, I think, and I know, and those parts of us is what need to be changed and transformed. So we are fasting, so we wanna bring those parts down. We wanna say, God, in 2019, I want less of me, but more of you. So God, let it not be about what I think, what I feel, what I know. Let it be about you and your will and your purpose for my life. So on day three, as we continue to go fasting, I want you to say, I want to encourage you that it's great that you're humbling yourself before God because when you are low, when you're down, then God will lift you up. When you submit yourself to God through fasting, God will lift you up. So, hey, I'm out. God bless. Peace. And uh, have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace. For more information, please don't forget to check out our resources at winningchristiancenter.org. Peace. Bye-bye. The soul part of us is what says no to fasting. When you hear fasting, the soul part says, oh no. 